Well, this one isn't an email question, but it is a question I've wanted to answer for a while now. And I've wanted to answer it because I've been seeing it pop up a lot on my Twitter and YouTube feed. And the question is, how can God be just if he sends a sinner to hell that has never heard of Jesus Christ or his gospel? Now, the answer to this question is even better than the question itself. And I want to go ahead and let R.C. Sproul take it from here. You know, the theological question I've been asked more than any question there is, is the question, what happens to the poor innocent native in Africa who's never heard of Jesus? I always answer that question the same way. The poor innocent native in Africa who's never heard of Jesus doesn't need to hear of Jesus. He has nothing to worry about. Don't bother sending missionaries to, to preach to him. You'll probably mess him up. That poor innocent native in Africa goes, when he dies, he goes straight to heaven. He doesn't pass go. He doesn't collect his $200. He has no need for a Savior. Jesus did not come in the world to save innocent people. Now, it'll take you more than the lamp of Diogenes to find an innocent native in Africa, because there aren't any innocent natives in Africa, or in Australia, or in South America, or in Europe, Asia, or anywhere else. But you see, here's the way people think. They think, well, if they haven't heard of Jesus, then they're surely innocent. No, again, Jesus comes into a world that is already under the indictment of God the Father because the whole world has rejected God the Father who has revealed himself clearly to them. So let's disavow ourselves of any idea of innocent people anywhere. Now people again will say, well, well will, Jesus, will somebody send, will God send people to hell for rejecting Jesus of whom they've never heard? Of course not. God's not going to punish a person for rejecting somebody they've never heard of. Oh, there's this big sigh of relief. Well, then we don't have to worry about him. What do you mean? Their destination is certainly hell for the rejection of the one they have heard of. Because what Paul is saying here in Romans 1 is that every human being has heard of God, knows of God, clearly perceives God, and rejects that knowledge. And because of that, lives every day exposed to the wrath of God and the only possible way he can be rescued from that wrath is through the Savior.